Hello. On this video, I'm going to show you how to read and write to a text file. So the first thing to do is to open the file. And to open the file, we have four options here. One is the R, the other one is the W, the A, and the B for binary. So the first one is for R is when you read the file. And if the file doesn't exist, you get an error. If you use the W, and if the file doesn't exist, it creates one. If the file is already there, it erases everything that's on the file. A is for append, and if the file doesn't exist, it creates one. But if the file exists, it just appends at the end of the file. And the B is for binary. So let's take a look on how to open a, a file. Here, I'm opening a file, and I'm using the W mode. The W mode means if the file doesn't exist, creates one. And all I'm doing here is just printing hello world into the file. And it is a very good programming practice to always close the file as well. Now, I'm going to run this program. And then this file, because I did not put the entire path here, it gets saved in the same place where this file is located. So if I go to this file and click on Save As, then I'm going to copy this whole path here because I know that the text file got saved right here. Then I'm going to open a explorer and then I'm going to paste the path right here. And sure enough, the file is right here. So I'm going to open this file. And the file has Hello World. So I'm going to close the file and I'm going to leave this folder open right here so I can come back and open this file later. And if I want to write more things to this file, I just have to write more code. And then it writes more stuff to the file. So if I run this program again, and if I open the file, then I have more things in the file. So all I have to do is keep on writing to the file and it writes to the file. Now, besides writing this, I can also write a list to the file. So to write a list to the file, I'm going to create a list with some strings, integer, and then a boolean right here. The next step is to open the file. Then I'm going to have a for loop and then an outfile.write. Note that I'm converting everything to a string because when I write to a file, I must have a string. If I don't convert the item to a string, then when 21 comes into the file, it throws an error. So I'm going to run this program. Then I'm going to open the file again. And sure enough, all the information is there. If I don't convert this to a string, it gives me an error because 21 in this case is an integer. Now, right here on line 18, I'm going to put a new line because I want these values to be written on a separate line on the file. So if I run this program now and I open the file, now I have each value on a different line. All right, so the next thing to do is to actually read from a file. And for that, we have three functions to help us out on this operation. One function is the read, and the read function reads the entire file and returns a string. If you put a size right here, there will be the size of the string 
that's going to return from the file. The read lines with the S reads the entire file and return everything into a list. And finally, read line reads just one single line and then returns into a string. So let's write some code for that. So here I'm going to open the same file that we are creating right here on the beginning of this program. Then I'm going to read the file into a string and then I'm going to print a string. If I run this program, I get all the values here. The next one is to read the entire file and return that into a list. So here in this case, I'm going to use the read lines with the S and then I'm going to print everything out. But remember, this is a list. So once I run this program, you're going to see the brackets, which is an indication that we have a list here. And the last one is to read one line at a time. So here I'm reading just Apple because it reads just the first line. If I want to read another line, then I'm going to repeat line 18 and 19 again. So if I do so, then I'm going to read one line and then the next line. Here it is. Now, what if I want to read line by line, but the entire file? If I want to do that, I just need to choose a loop. And if I run this program, I get every single line that's on the file. All right, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.